Now you'll notice on the top that we're on the Home tab here. And you can add as many tabs as you'd like. So you could, for example, have a News tab, uh, a Classroom tab, as many different tabs as you wanted. So I'm going to add a new tab just so that we can see how to do it. And you just need to give it a name. I'm going to call my new tab RSS Feeds. Okay. You can choose if you want this I'm feeling lucky box marked, meaning that it'll automatically add gadgets based on the name of your tab. I'm going to uncheck that. You can feel free to leave that checked if you want, depending on what your tab name is. It may put some relevant things on or it may fill it up with things that you want to get rid of. And I'm going to click on OK. okay. So you can see now that I'm on my RSS feeds tab and I don't have anything in it yet. So now we want to look at the second way to add content, which is going to be to subscribe to RSS feeds rather than Google Gadgets. We're still going to click on the Add Stuff link over here. So we're back on the iGoogle Add Content page. And this time, instead of adding the pre-made gadgets that they already have, I'm going to go down on the left here to where it says Add Feeder Gadget. When I click on that, it tells me to tape in, to paste in the URL below. So you go to a website that has an RSS feed, and I'm going to go to, say, Gainesville.com. not sure if it has an RSS feed or not, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to copy the web address at top, go back to my iGoogle page, and paste it right in there. Go ahead and click on Add. And it says that it's added Gainesville.com to my reader. Now I'm going to add several more so that you can see the different ways that this can happen. Different pages, a lot of different pages have RSS feeds. Some of them do, some of them don't. Now on the Gainesville page, we tried it. We taped, typed it in, and it worked okay. I'm going to go to another page, just a normal website. News websites have RSS feeds. Other websites do as well. This is the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. You'll notice their highlight section over here, you can see it has this little orange symbol, which always means RSS feed. So I'm going to click on that where it says subscribe. And what will happen is it will show you the feed. And rather than clicking where it says subscribe to this feed on the actual page, you're going to go to the top click to copy the URL out of the address bar on top, go back to your iGoogle page, paste it into the Add Gadget area, click on Add, and it's going to add that. Okay, so sometimes if you paste the actual web page URL, it will work. Sometimes it won't. Other times, if you see that RSS icon or button, click on that and then use the address from there. Now, uh, blogs are things that usually automatically create RSS feeds. So here's an example of an um, educational technology web blog that I like to keep up with. So here I'm going to try just clicking the main address page, copy, go back to my iGoogle page, paste it in click on add that worked and I'm going to look at a couple different other types of pages that you may be able to find good uses of RSS for we've looked at blogs news pages regular web pages that have updates and all these other web 2.0 tools that you use lots of times will also have RSS feeds Here's an example. This is the PK Faculty Wiki made at pbwiki.com where a lot of you may have already created wikis. Now, I'm going to copy the URL here, go back to iGoogle and paste it in. And you'll see it says not found. Okay, so that didn't work. I'm going to go back to the page and look around a little bit more. You'll notice that if I scroll down to the bottom, you get this little RSS icon 
and the link here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here I am looking at the RSS feed. So I, now I can copy the URL out of the top address bar, paste it in at my iGoogle page, click on Add, and you'll see that it worked that time. So you can subscribe to wikis the same way that you can su subscribe to blogs or other news sites. And then anytime somebody makes a change to that wiki, it'll show up on your RSS feeder or your iGoogle page in this case. Okay, another Web 2.0 tool that you can use with RSS is Delicious. Let's say you find somebody that you really like doing delicious bookmarks. For example, me. You could go to my delicious page, delicious slash my username young DJ. And if I scroll down to the bottom of that page, you'll see that there's a link that says RSS feed for this page. So I'm going to click on that. And you should be familiar with the process here now. I'm going to copy the URL out of the top go back to my iGoogle page, paste it in, add it, and that means I'm going to have a space where every time I add a bookmark to my Delicious account, anybody who has subscribed to that feed will see it. Another way you can do that on Delicious is by tag go to delicious slash tag and then type in a tag or a combination of tags that's interesting to you. So let's say we were to do English plus education. Hit enter. And that takes me to this page that has everything in delicious that's tagged with both the words English and education. Now again, if I scroll down to the bottom of this page, I get a link that says RSS feed for this page. And once I'm there, again, I can go ahead and click on the URL on top, copy it, and paste it back into my iGoogle page. Add it. And what that's gonna do is anytime anybody tags a site on delicious with both the words English and education it'll show up, up it'll show up in my RSS reader and I'll see it all right so we've added a lot of RSS feeds I'm gonna go ahead and click on back to iGoogle home and you'll notice that on my RSS feeds tab all these things I've done have been added so I have my delicious tag English and education anytime somebody adds a link to delicious that's tagged with both English and education, it's going to show up in there. I have my PK faculty wiki. Every, anytime somebody makes a change to it, I'm going to get a post there that's going to tell me. I have the web blogged blog that I've subscribed to. I have my Gainesville.com news. All these things in one place and I can come here every day, every hour, every 10 minutes and see the things that have been updated and then click on the individual links to go look at it. So what we've done is we've created an iGoogle page, we've set up a home page with some of the Google gadgets, we set up a new RSS feeds tab that includes a lot of the different RSS feeds we've subscribed to, and the last thing that you might want to do is to click on select theme here and you can choose a custom look for your iGoogle page. I'm not going to go into that, but that's something that you might want to do. So spend some time playing around looking at the Google gadgets, look at your favorite websites, find their RSS feeds, consider subscribing to different feeds from blogs, wikis, or delicious pages, and have fun.